This is me thinking on those ice cold Fedra mornings. Ya Rabbi, why do I have to do this? What's the point? Does it have to be so painful? Let's be real. Look at these actions in Islam. Salah. Isn't it almost impossible to wake up for Fajr when you only slept two hours? Fasting. Isn't it hard not to eat or drink for the whole day? Hijab. Isn't it hot wearing a scarf under the blazing sun? So I'm curious. Is discomfort a key ingredient of the Muslim religious experience? Let's find out. First, I found out that discomfort is different from difficult. In Salah, for example, sitting would be more comfortable compared to standing, but it doesn't mean standing is difficult. Two, we over comfort ourselves to death. I recently read a thought provoking book. It claimed that we humans of this time are in a crisis of over comforting ourselves. How come? Because success comes from discomfort and hard work. Muscles, either the muscles of your brain or your body, grow with exercise. And the same is what Allah wants from us. Three, Allah wants ease for us. Allah wants ease for you and does not want for you any difficulty. Our misunderstanding is that we think comfort brings comfort. No. Discomfort, discipline is what brings that ease. We all agree some discomfort in saving and investing equals long-term financial strength, which is ease. So too, some discomfort in worship equals peace and success in this life and the hereafter. If I could sum up what I learned on a big billboard, it would be this. The Muslim experience does include some discomfort. That discomfort makes Muslims strong. And we all need that strength for everything to be easy. In this verse, Allah tells us to struggle and affirms that there is no difficulty. And the reward for this struggle? Say Ameen. This is Muhammad al-Sharif. My dog for you is to see you succeed at the highest level.